President Ramnath Kovind takes salute of parade at Rajpath in New Delhi. President Ramnath Kovind invokes Mahatma Gandhi's message of truth and non-violence and urges people to follow it. Assam joins Republic Day celebration in befitting manner. Governor hoists national tricolor in the central function at Guwahati. Altogether, 15 distinguished personalities from Northeast named for Padma Awards this year. And in cricket, India beat New Zealand in the second T20 match by seven wickets in Auckland. Good evening, viewers, and I welcome you to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Sangeeta Bhattacharjee, now with the details. Nation celebrated the 71st Republic Day today with the Grand Military Parade, an exhibition of its history, cultural diversity and strategic weaponry at the Rajpath in the national capital. President Ramnath Kovind unfurled the tricolor and took the salute of the parade. President of Brazil, Zair Messias Bolsonaro, was the chief guest at the parade this year. The Republic Day ceremony commenced with Prime Minister Narendra Modi paying homage to martyrs at the National War Memorial instead of Amar Jawan Jyoti. The national flag was unfurled, followed by the national anthem with the booming 21-gun salute. The parade started from Vijay Chowk and proceeded towards the Red Fort grounds. It was commanded by Parade Commander Lieutenant General Ashit Mistri, General Officer Commanding Headquarters, Delhi area. The winners of the highest gallantry awards followed him. They include the winners of the Paramveer Chakra and the Ashok Chakra. President Ramnath Kovind invoked Mahatma Gandhi's message of truth and non-violence and urged the people, especially the youths, to follow non-violence while expressing concern over a cause and stick to constitutional methods of achieving social and economic objectives. Addressing the nation overall India Radio and Doordarshan on the eve of the 71st Republic Day last evening in New Delhi, he said that it should be part of a daily routine to introspect on Gandhiji's message of truth and non-violence, which has become all the more necessary in our times. चारे के लिए यही सबसे उत्तम मार्ग है। राष्ट्रपिता महात्मा गांधी के जीवन मूल्यों को अपनाने से इन संवैधानिक आदर्शों का अनुपालन हम सब के लिए और भी सरल हो जाता है। ऐसा करते हुए हम सब महात्मा गांधी की 150वीं जयंती को और भी सार्थक आयाम दे सकेंगे। Assam to join the celebration of the 71st Republic Day in a befitting manner today. The central function was held at the Kanapara Veterinary Field in Guwahati. Governor of Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, hoisted the national tricolor in the presence of Chief Minister Hormanando Sonwal and other dignitaries. Addressing the gathering, Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi said the state cabinet, headed by Chief Minister Hormanando Sonwal, took a slew of decisions that are aimed at assuaging the indigenous communities. Prime among them was the announcement about introducing a bill in the next session of the State Assembly for ensuring the protection of land rights of the indigenous people. Tiranga, Deshko, or Sashakta, or Smrudda, Karname Jogde, Sanskriti, Hame Nirantarta, Pechan, or Thaitu de Tihe. In Nagaland, the Republic Day was celebrated with great enthusiasm at the Nagaland Civil Secretariat Plaza in Kohima. The governor of Nagaland, Arun Ravi, unfurled the national flag and inspected the parade. The parade comprised of 20 participating contingents. The program also included taekwondo drill displays, Bhangra dance, cultural presentation and contemporary and fusion music choreographies. Senior police officer Liremo Sopo Lotha was awarded the President's Police Medal for Distinguished Service, while three others were awarded the Police Medal for Meritorious Service. Four individuals were also awarded the Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Police Training.
Arunachal Pradesh Governor Dr. B.D. Mishra unfurled the national flag and took the salute of parade at IG Park in Itanagar. An impressive march past participated by state police, paramilitary forces, school students and NCC cadets was organized on the occasion. Cultural troops from schools in different areas of Arunachal Pradesh presented colorful traditional dance and patriotic songs. Speaking on the occasion, Governor Dr. B.D. Mishra said that the state government is working for all-round development of state and welfare of the people. He called upon people to join hands in the government's efforts. The state awards for meritorious services under different categories were also announced on this occasion. Manipur joined the rest of the country in celebrating the 71st Republic Day of India today. The colorful state level <coughs> excuse me, the colorful state level function was held at the historic Kangla Fort with Governor Dr. Najma Heptullah as the chief guest. The celebration began with the governor unfurling the national flag and inspecting the guard of honor. She then took salute from 118 different march past contingents, including uniformed services, schools, colleges and bands, platoons, 17 cultural troops and 16 tabby of different government departments. On the occasion, the governor handed out President's Police Medal for Distinguished Service to Jamadar Mohammad Qiyasuddin of 7th IRB. Chief Minister Renpirin Singh, Cabinet Ministers, MPs, MLAs, top civil police and military officers, government employees and general public also took part in the celebration. Tripura celebrated the 71st Republic Day with enthusiasm and patriotism amidst tight security arrangements. The main program and Republic Day parade was held at Assam Rifles Ground of Agartala this morning. Tripura Governor Ramesh Bais unfurled the tricolor at the Assam Rifles Ground and took salute of the police and other security forces in the main parade program of the state. In his speech, the governor said India-Bangladesh relations and bilateral trades will further improve with northeastern states and other parts of the country by using the Chittagong International Port and Mongla Port. He said the challenges for transportation of goods in hilly areas of northeast region will be smoother with users of two Bangladesh ports and new waterway connectivity between Tripura and the neighboring country. <laughs> The 71st Republic Day was magnificently celebrated in Assam Rifles Crown Diazol with Mizoram Governor P.S. Sridharan Pillai hoisting the tricolor and taking salute at a parade in Aizol. On this auspicious occasion, the governor called upon the citizens to resolve to preserve and strengthen the unity and integrity of this great country and to work towards making Mizoram a place where one lives with dignity, peace, prosperity and happiness. This country belongs to all of us, every community, every religion and every identity, he said. <laughs> 71st Republic Day was celebrated in Sikkim with full honor, enthusiasm and gaiety. The state level function was held in Gang Talk with the governor of Sikkim, Ganga Prasad, unfurled the national flag. The chief minister, Prem Singh Tamang, his cabinet ministers and other dignitaries were also present on the occasion. Later, the governor inspected the parade, which was followed by March Past, presented by various contingents of armed forces and state police. Addressing the function, governor paid tribute to those brave men and women who fought relentlessly for the noble cause of freedom. Along with the rest of the nation, the state celebrated 71st Republic Day today with Katie. Chief Minister Konrad Kesangman furled the tricolor at the Republic Day celebration at Polo Ground in the state capital of Shillong. He laid out vision and plan of the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance government for the overall development of the state. Addressing the gathering, he said that we are at the start of a new year and a new decade. Our vision 2030 is to transform Meghalaya into a high-income Indian state and to improve the well-being of every single citizen of the state. Altogether, 15 distinguished personalities from the Northeast have been named for the coveted Padma Awards on the eve of Republic Day on Saturday. 
Internationally acclaimed boxer MC Merikom from Manipur will be conferred the country's second highest civilian award, Padma Vibhushan, while former Nagaland Chief Minister S.C. Zamir, who, who has also served as governor of a number of states, has been named for Padma Bhushan. Five personalities from Assam have been conferred the Padma Shri Award. They are celebrated dance youths Indira P.P. Bora, writer educationist Lil Bahadur Chetri, veterinarian Kushal Kumar Horma, scholar Jogendranath Fukon, and physician Ravi Kanam R. Literatia Yeshidorji Thongchi of Arunachal Pradesh, who writes in Assamese, was also named for Padma Shri Award. The others from the Northeast who have won Padma Shri Awards are footballer Oinam Bem Bem Devi of Manipur, social worker Satyanarayan Mundayur of Arunachal Pradesh, Archa Tarandip Rai of Sikkim, journalist Poo Lal Piyak Thanga Pachao, and social worker and freedom fighter C. Kamalova, both from Mizoram, and writer Beni Chandra Zamatia from Tripura. In cricket, India beat New Zealand in the second T20 match played at Auckland of New Zealand today by seven wickets. New Zealand, winning the toss, chose to bat first and scored 132 runs in stipulated 20 overs, losing five wickets. In reply, India crossed the target, playing 17.3 overs, losing three wickets. Well, that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.